Uh, dear friends, praise the Lord. Evangelism. When I say this word evangelism, what comes to your mind? Some people comes to your mind. Some famous evangelists whom you would see day to day on TV. Paul Dinagaran, Mohan C. Lazarus and various other people in your own area. Do they come to your mind? For some people evangelist means people who are working among the villagers or some poor people, slums, they come to your mind. And to some people evangelist means people who come monthly to pray home, pray in our home and collect money and then go. Collectors, that comes to your mind. Uh, to some people, their fathers and uh, forefathers, grandfathers come to their mind. They will say, my grandfather was an evangelist. He used to go on cycle to villages, village after village, giving tracts, comes late in the night. Because of his efforts, many people came to know the Lord. So I know about evangelists. Evangelism means these people who either without any recognition go and work and convert people and bring them to the knowledge of Christ or the great evangelists today we see here on stage on TV, crowd pullers, lot of people go to listen to them and uh, many people accept their Lord in their crusades, public gatherings and sometimes even demons will be exorcised and they will have a TV channel. What comes to your mind? So many things may come to your mind. That is the problem today. Evangelism means immediately what comes to what should come to your mind is you. Evangelism is everyone's job. God has given a good news to us and we have to share it with others. And today that is not coming to our mind. So today onwards in this class, evangelism immediately you should come to your mind. Imagine you are sharing good news with someone else. You are sharing the gospel of Jesus using your Bible to someone else. Don't think that you are standing on a pulpit. Don't think that you are on a TV screen. Don't think you are uh, opening your Bible. People are looking at you holy, holy and then you are sharing the word to hundreds of people and then there is a wide TV coverage. No, 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 don't imagine like that. Imagine you as an ordinary person, at least once a day, with a smile, with a heart of burden, somehow I must tell a person about the love of Jesus or something about Jesus. Somehow I must follow up a person and somehow I must share at least my life and a testimony every day to one person. I must share about the love of Jesus or something about God. Maybe in my work, in my along uh, my travel with my friends or uh, to some people. How if I share something about Jesus? That is what is evangelism is today. And times are now happening that the doors are closing for evangelism. I don't think like that. I will talk a little more on that. Still, there are a lot of opportunities for evangelism. So, evangelism means it's a good news. Last time when you shared something about a good product to others, maybe about a product that you use, or you shared about a good TV show, or you shared about, uh, about a good person, you shared about something you read in the newspaper, some good thing, or a good joke, something you shared to your friends, which was not at all a harmful thing, you never, you, that was not about scolding someone or giving a negative output to someone on something. No, no, no. Something good you shared, right? Exactly that is what should come to your mind when you think about the word evangelism. The Greek word for evangelism is euangelion and the meaning for that is good news, some good news. So you don't have to talk and force conversion or talk about Jesus, this and and make a very big Bible study and uh, give some deep thoughts or get into some argument, debate. No, 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 no. That is all secondary. You should naturally, just like a lifestyle, share about Jesus. Something you will talk about Jesus. And what is that something? That content is what is important. If you know the proper content, you can share easily, freely, in a friendly manner and you can make it 
a normal lifestyle today what is happening is some people are not at all sharing gospel some people have a inner desire to share the gospel but what happened they don't know what to share sometimes they offend others and once they burn their fingers they stop everything and there are other people who simply outrightly go and uh, pounce on the people with all the gospel and the word and some people are terrorists they go and uh, just tear the people into two with the message of jesus and immediately start condemning their religious practices and then their gods and idols and all that no no that is not evangelism all these things are happening just because of that fact number one they don't know who they are in christ what is my basic identity in christ and secondly they don't know that god gives naturally a burden to share about good news to others to everybody because everybody who's born on this earth has to finish their life one day go to hell so if only you are able to say the bridge is broken don't go there you will fall similarly saying this life will have lot of problems somewhere it is going to a reckless end a godless destination definitely if it is going to be hell uh let me put a word for you that there is also another place called heaven and jesus said he is the way why don't you try i am just you know telling for your sake it is up to you to take it or not or if someone is really interesting you can share more about jesus isn't it so this is the content i am talking about if you know what exactly is the content then you should be able to share the gospel that is evangelism and dr paul raj adishamani used to say everybody in whose heart jesus is living is a missionary an evangelist everybody who does not have jesus in their lives in their heart is a mission field they need to be evangelized okay evangelism is not a bad word it is not a bad word as the whole india is now talking about it is a very friendly word for them first how you perceive and how you understand is very important now we will go into some contents uh, precisely and then what is the content of evangelism and uh, how to do it in a very precise way i'm going to say it will completely deliver you and open your mind readily you will be able to share the gospel that is the content which i'm going to give now let me share the screen for you